Hi there, and welcome to the third episode of me restoring my 1989 Toyota pickup. This week I spent my time fully disassembling the heads and cleaning all of the components. There was a lot of carbon buildup, there was a lot of oil buildup from either poor oil change intervals or having 187,000 miles on it. It also looks like the EGR system wasn't working very well and just covered everything on the intake side with a nice thick layer of carbon. We're going to get things started off with using a valve compression tool to remove all of the uh, valves and valve springs, um, get them in a cleaning solution, and then go from there. I didn't like the way the valves turned out just with the chemical bath. Um, it looks like there's just a lot of buildup on them. So what I decided to do is try my luck at polishing them on the lathe. Um, I started with using a wire wheel just to clean off all the loose debris to see what the surface looks like. After the wire wheel, I switched over to an angle grinder with a high grit sanding disc to start the process of removing the textured surface. Here I'm using 120 grit sandpaper with some Carnova wax um, to start refining that surface, getting it smooth. Now I'm using 220 grit sandpaper again with the wax to uh, start polishing that surface. This pass, I'm going to lightly touch the valve seat surface. I didn't want to do that with 120 grit because it was a little aggressive. 
doing the 220 removes all those really light pits. The last step here is using 600 grit sandpaper. Again, with the Cardoba wax, it really brings everything to a nice high polish. There's a few grind marks from the uh, initial sanding, but it is much better than the pitted and built up surface that I started with. With all of the work on the valves finished, the last thing I have time for this week is to clean the rest of the parts. Uh, that includes the cylinder heads, uh, the, the cam bearings, um, all the cam followers, and a few miscellaneous parts. So we'll get those all cleaned up and get them ready for getting the heads put back together. time to was cleaning all of the components of the two cylinder heads. It's actually a little bit of footage missing there at the end because the camera kept on turning itself off. It's kind of ignored it and kept on going with the video. Hopefully I'll be paying attention to more stuff like that moving forward and making sure that I capture all of the video that I want. Um, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed um, and I will see you in the next one.